clients want to know how much you care before they care how much you know. Demonstrating that we care is a critical element in building trust with our prospects and clients. Words to avoid might be, you should do thus and such, or I'm trying to help you understand something. In each case, the person we're talking with likely will feel like they're being talked down to. And that's the last thing we want to have in our communication with our clients and prospects. And so we want to ask questions of clients, how they feel about certain things. We want to get facts Hard facts, what's your date of birth, are you married, how many children do you have, what's your home address, those general hard facts. But then we want to get soft facts too. After we've said how much life insurance do you have, do you have an IRA, do you have other retirement accounts, how do you feel about that? It's the way the client feels about their situation that will lead us to understand what the client's goals and priorities will be. In a meeting with a prospect, my goal is to hopefully make that prospect a client. The prospect's goal in meeting with me is to address some situation. My goal is to find out what that situation is so that I can help provide a solution. I tell people that the way we work is somewhat like a financial travel agent. A regular travel agent is a person that helps you make a plan for a trip. And the process starts out with, where do you want to start? Where do you want to go? What's your time frame? What's your budget? A financial travel agent starts out with the same questions. Where are you? Where do you want to go? What's your time frame? And what's your budget? That's the process that we work through as a financial travel agent. Years ago, an MDRT speaker referred to the process of story selling. He defined story selling as making the unknown known by use of the familiar. The explanation as a financial travel agent is very familiar with people who have worked with a regular travel agent and the process connects. You build trust by helping people realize that we care, that we are working with clients to help them identify, discover, and accomplish their goals. We can't accomplish every goal. There are areas where we lack expertise, we lack resource, we may even lack a license. Recently, I had a client ask if we could provide umbrella liability insurance. I don't have that license. I referred him to a person that I thought could solve that. The question was asked of me because I have that client's trust. And trust is the first thing that we have to establish with a, with a prospect in order to make them a good client. We use advocacy, presenting choices, and recommending because we want to create alignment with the client and the client goals. And we want to create a strong relationship that in turn will create a strong experience for the client. We find that if the client has a positive experience, they will want to continue doing that and look for more ways to further the process. We use these words because they build bridges to relationships rather than barriers to relationships. And in building those relationships, clients feel good about the experience they want to do more, and they may even talk about it with their friends. When you go bowling, the object is to knock down the pins. When I use the concept of bowling in working with clients, I set up pins that I know need to be knocked down. Ideas that may be choices, but are really not very good choices. I want the client to know that I have thought through the choices 
and I want to put some up there even though I know they don't work, just so that I can knock them down and we can focus on the ones that are still standing and that narrows down the range of good choices. Typically, the number of choices in a bowling presentation won't be more than five or six, and typically that would be narrowed down to two or three. But introducing the entire stack of pins allows us to demonstrate we've thought through the process, we've eliminated things that don't work, and we've narrowed down to choices that would work. That approach works virtually all the time because it helps to build trust and confidence in the advice that I'm providing.